got the Gucci shoes waiting in the Lamborghini. I got the windows tinted when I'm in it. You can see me. GM, GM, everyone. Welcome to Music NFT Radio. We are back with another podcast. We have a special guest here today, Nova, on stage talking about an NFT project. This is a VIP collector interview. Super happy to have you here. This platform is for you to talk about your project. Welcome to the Music NFT Radio podcast. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure to like and comment on the video as well as subscribe to the Music NFT Radio channel. And if you're on podcast site, thanks for listening. Let's get it. Welcome to Music NFT Radio. Nova, how's it going? Uh, well, yeah, like it's pretty amazing. I'm, I'm pretty thrilled to be here. And I said this is a bit of a new experience for me to be like on the, on the radio. But yeah, let's roll. I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled. Um, yeah, basically, let's talk DeFi and let's talk NFTs. Yeah, for sure. I mean, DeFi is a huge, important piece of the crypto ecosystem. And I think that a lot of our listeners are still new to DeFi. We have a lot of people from the NFT space, but DeFi is something new over here. And I know that there's interesting ways that you can actually combine NFT and DeFi. So I think that it's really important to just give a basic overview about DeFi and some of the stuff that you're doing so that people can get an introduction to the space if they haven't learned much about DeFi yet. Absolutely, yeah. As like we are basically Ethereum based, as are like a lot of NFTs, pro- NFT products basically. Just uh, instead of the ERC seven to one token, which is the NFT itself only, like we also have the ERC twenty token, which is like the regular. Let's say you know, like, like uh, yeah, like the ETH itself, you know. Um, so this is, this is like we basically combine NFTs and and DeFi in the in one project. And like what we do is basically fundraise. By the way, like the um, is it, uh, like uh, is, is it interrupting or? Uh, no, it should be fine. Sorry, I'll mute my mic. Uh, should be okay. fine. Mute my mic when when you're going. Go ahead. Keep keep going. All good, all good. So yeah, like, um, like as you guys know, like DeFi can be like a various things. It can be flash loans. It can be lo- regular loans. Uh, it can it can be like fundraising and our stuff. It can be insurance, whatever. Actually, artificial intelligence, like you name it, you call it, you name it. Basically, so like what we do is basically fundraising, and like with our product, you can be basically a VC. Uh, on your own, like as you, as you, some of you might know, like venture capital is is like a thing for big whales. It's it's usually like just people with like millions, billions, whatever, who can afford this. Like you know, like the the hurdle to actually like uh be a VC to fund a project is is just immense. You know, like let's say below five million dollars, you can you can fucking forget it to to actually to actually fund the project and like this is what we like in our let our DeFi slash nft project nova want to yeah want to conquer basically we want to like decentralize and give the the money back to the people basically like with us you can with as low as like uh, as um uh, 0.1 eth basically uh, which is the equivalent you can basically already fundraise a project, and this is this is this is it. Like, and um, to make it more accessible, especially for the NFT folks, what we do is uh, we sell like mint passes, basically, which consists of a of a ERC seven to one, which is an NFT that symbolizes like a fraction of the fundraising pool. You know, um, so yeah, like this, and this comes with like, with our ERC twenty tokens that are called Nova. <laughs> For the, for the sake of simplicity. And uh, yeah, uh, this is basically worth 0.1 ETH. And with that, you can already fundraise and also have a fancy NFT uh, like separately, basically, which is yeah the proof of, of fundraising. And besides this, we also ra- like we also found that uh, like every now and then we actually we actually launch a couple of like a series of NFTs. Like we're very heavily um, very heavily mythology orientated basically so like our founder is just damn he is excited about mythology so uh with like we have like every now and then like a series of of uh, nfts that we launch for the community to like you know get them hyped basically 
And yeah, and uh, and I think Dylan, uh, as far as I'm concerned, the first time you ever heard about this was through the Not Luna project, basically, which is our side project, uh, which is basically our side project uh, where we, you know, like which we launched basically in the time as Luna collapsed, basically, but pretty much like a series of memes with with Doc One uh, to yeah mock the whole situation, and uh, honestly, like. It was a blast in the beginning, just like right now we are very much focusing on on Nova and like, you know, to, to we are going like a bit more in the DeFi side. Okay, I'm going to shut up for, for now. Yeah, that, that's awesome. Uh, so, you know, that's right. The first time I heard about it was through the Not Luna NFT when you purchased the VIP, which I really appreciate the support. And so, yeah, that's really cool. You've built a whole ecosystem for funding projects and funding creators. And I think for people new to DeFi, that's really what it's about. DeFi is about getting loans and getting funding on chain for various different activities. Uh, it's also about being able to stake your coins and participate in decentralized trading. Uh, so I think that these are valuable tools for creators and entrepreneurs that are starting projects. But a lot of people haven't tapped into this yet, especially in the NFT community, right? But I think platforms like you're building are important because they can be used for creators to get funding too, right? They can be used for all types of different projects to get funding. And I think it's important for everyone to realize that there's many different paths to getting funding, right? So I'd be curious to know what does it look like as far as onboarding to the platform and getting funding? What is the process that someone has to go through? Okay, sure thing. Um, I mean, I think it's also like important to note for everyone here, since you guys like are heavily NFT orientated, that it can be as well an NFT product that we fund, you know, like it can be actually whatever from, from web free space, uh, like whoever. Yeah, basically this. Uh, we are pretty much a DAO, uh, so you know, like as far as possible, we like as far as possible with like a little bit of the central leading from from our founder. But other than that, we try to like make everything like a basically democratic thing. Let's put it this way. Um, and um, the process the process of onboarding a project is basically that there is like a scout team, like uh, there is like a scout team that consists of the community, and they more or less like i mean more or less they pretty much like uh, search for projects that are gonna be funded and like you know vote for it vote for it to be listed basically and then like the the, the core team the core team is like the first layer basically to like um the fir the core team is basically the first layer to to approve it or not and then like the whole community can vote on those you know Basically, yeah, like I said, like we try to do it as much as possible, like community oriented as much as possible, pretty much. And um, yeah, and then uh, like all the others, all the others who want to like fund a particular project, just like use the, the Nova tokens and the, the proofs of, of um, the proofs of uh, funding, which is the NFT per se. And uh, yeah, like basically, like this is pretty much direct. Then ca they can already then fund it. Pretty much, they can already then fund it. Um, and yeah, like uh, then it's basically it's pretty much like up on, uh, up to you if a project succeeds or not. And like you're gonna have like a really juicy gain if it does, obviously, because like VC has this thing like it is risky. You know, it is risky to to. Um, jump into like an unknown project and like you're basically speculating based on like a couple of things like is the discord active is uh is the twitter active do you really see hype do you see potential you know but like if you see and like if you think like if you think right it's basically investing as like as soon as possible so you get like the yeah like the juices the gains after all that's yeah pretty much it yeah that's awesome uh it's it's really cool, and you got me thinking, you know, why not me? I could put an uh, offer on there, try to get involved in some way, so I definitely want to talk about that. But I think first, I'd love to hear about some of the projects that you've onboarded, some of the things that you've funded, or uh, some of the things that might be coming. So maybe you could tell us a little bit about uh, who you're working with 
and some of the projects you've been involved with there? So as we are quite new and like, you know, like we haven't like so far, we've only like, we've only uh, sold like a uh, like portion of the, uh, of the minting passes that I mentioned before. And so far we haven't really like onboarded a project yet. Let's say like tomorrow we're going to have like another spaces with, uh, with the, the product empire capital basically and they are pretty much like considered you know like maybe we will fund them or you know like if, if if like both sides basically agree like they are definitely interested but like what it's gonna be let's see let's see basically um yeah like as far as i'm concerned ragav like the founder has uh has a particular project in mind but uh we are not yet there to like talk details so sadly like i can't give you that much information yet we are just like early on i hear you that's what's up so I mean, it's always good to get your message out there and talk about the project more. And I think you'll find a lot of interest from NFT creators, too, because it's a good fit. I mean, especially for NFT creators that already have a history and a track record. That's kind of what I'm trying to do is look for these bigger opportunities rather than like one by one onboarding, which is what I've been doing until now. It's like time to find some other opportunities. And this sounds like a really good one. So as it's coming together, I definitely want to chat more about how we could work together and get you even more interest from the NFT community, right? But I think, like you said, it's about being able to source capital and bring people together and then they can get in at, at a great opportunity, right? And that's what I've been talking to, you know, different funding partners about looking for something like 20K or 50K or even 100K of funding and how it would look like going into my NFT collection, right? Because basically you can create a portfolio of your NFTs and then offer that through a platform like Nova. So um, I think it's really cool and I certainly understand how it could work together with NFTs. Uh, is there anything else you had in mind or, or something that you want to add about how it could work with NFT artists? Uh, yeah, I mean, like, def definitely, like, even uh, even just, like, funding uh, the particular project that we are kind of considering with the ARPC. Um, like, you know, like, with, with this, like, this could go into the marketing side or this could, like... Literally, like any any of the capital that we are gonna like basically provide can be used for whatever. So I think like there is no borders in it. There is basically like no limitations in like how the the particular product uses the money. Uh, just like as long as it you know as it takes off and everyone gains of it or loses, obviously, which is like also like the part of of VC funding. Also, I think Ragav just yeah Ragav just requested uh, to talk. Okay. Yeah. Like, let's hear him. Like, I've I've told my part, and I'm just I'm pretty sure he's gonna like uh, he's gonna want to like say even more about this. Hi, Ragav. How are you? Hey, Ragav. Welcome. How's it going, man? Hey, hey. Sorry, I'm a little late. Another call ran long. I'm good. How are you guys? Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Like, great to have you here. Like, I I didn't I didn't think you're gonna make it, but it, I've, so far it's been going great. So far it's been going great, but. Yeah, it's it's always great to like hear the founder, you know, like to <laughs> yeah, to actually yeah. hear like, who came up with the idea. <laughs> I think Olaf is doing a great job, so I'm gonna let him do it. It's just that I just tuned in when you guys were talking about the whole space of art NFTs, and I think one very interesting unlock for Nova will be besides the fact that obviously there's funding, that you know when you have an access to a DAO that has an a vested interest in you doing well. It's a great resource for, let's say, people who are building stories, you know, books, um, movies, whatever. It's a great place for pilot testing. It's a great place for like coming and asking people, what oh, do you like where the story is going? Are you vibing with the characters? Things like that. So, you know, just pilot testing or even people developing games, you know, so anything that's art, which is like developed over time. I think one great unlock, which most people don't realize will be this this group of people who actually care where your story is going, who actually want you to do well right from day one, not when your floor price is already five ETH, you know? Yeah, for sure, Raghav. Thanks for coming up. That's what's great about these Twitter Spaces podcasts. We can have people just jump in. 
So it's great to have a founder here. Thanks for coming up, man. And I like what you just said, too. It's all about finding your community, getting that support. Um, I'm really excited about that. Like I was just saying, I think it could be huge for onboarding more people to what I'm doing. And I've also been talking to other types of funding partners and platforms. So uh, definitely excited about what you guys are building. I like how you have that open, open to NFTs and open to funding different types of projects. So what's coming in the future? Is there anything that we can look forward to? Uh, also give some information about where to go get involved and where to support the project. Because I want to see you guys fund some new projects. I want to see you guys make some waves in the Web3 space. So we got to support. Uh, absolutely. So, like, go ahead, go ahead, Olaf, go ahead. Uh, so like everything everything you need is available on the NovaDAO.xyz side. And like there you guys have like an explicit roadmap, a white paper in our tokenomics basically to give you like a little bit of an of of an overview of like what we plan basically like our minting is already live like the the mint passes i mentioned before they're already live you can like uh, purchase them already then uh, by the end of the month we are planning to go uh, to go on with our staking life um like recently recently we were talking tons of partnerships within DeFi specifically but also a couple of ones in nfts uh, so I'm pretty sure like in the next couple of weeks, maybe months, you're going to hear a lot of us if you like, if you follow the space and then, yeah, like in, in Q3, we are basically trying, uh, we are basically planning on, on opening our own very own liquidity pool. So I think it's actually going great. Like, so the, the pace we are at and like, especially we are only a four uh, people team and are also about to like get uh, properly funded very soon. I think we are just starting and yeah, like excited to have you on board. Basically, we are pretty excited to have you here and that you have the opportunity to be with us like this early on. Yeah, awesome. I'm, I'm happy to be here and I think that's great. I think there's a whole nother conversation to be had about liquidity pools and AMMs and all of this DeFi stuff. And we haven't had a lot of those conversations on Music NFT Radio. So it's great to have you here and have some partners who are doing DeFi who can help educate the community on some of this as we move forward. So thanks for coming in, guys. I do have another call here in a few minutes, but it's great to have you for an introduction, get you on the podcast. It's exciting what you're building. And as soon as you start onboarding some of those first projects and moving in the space, I'd be happy to put together a plan to get a crypto rich offering up there and help you build the community out even further. So definitely excited about this. Thanks for coming in, guys. Awesome. Thank man. you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, for sure. If there's anything, last things you want to mention or whatever, go ahead. Uh, thanks for coming in to Music NFT Radio. Everyone who's listening on the podcast, make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Come into the live radio on musicnftradio.com. We have guests all the time. We are making the biggest podcast for music NFTs and the NFT community. Let's get it. Yeah, okay, exactly. Like, well, the, the same for us, basically. Like, follow us, uh, follow us, follow our info, for our, follow our newsletter, Supernova. And yeah, like, the most important part by far is join our Discord. Like, we are happy to have you there. We are happy to host. Thanks, guys. You were an amazing audience. All right, awesome. Thank you. Definitely check out the Discord, everyone. Let's get it. This is Music NFT Radio.